In three, two, one. Hi guys, this is part two, which actually gets to animating using the sprite sheets that you just created. Um, so here's my example, uh, project generic Italian American plumber versus hipster Pikachu. Uh, so when I go up and I start, I'm running, I'm running, I'm moving all around, I stop, and I go to my idle standing animation. Uh, so that is really, in these sprite sheets, I, I did forget to say that on the last assignment, what you want is walking, and then if you want to do that kind of bonus just to make it look really great, is to have an idle standing animation that could be a few frames where maybe the person's just kind of like moving slightly, standing up and down, kind of waiting to get back to their movement. It's also, the more sprites you have in your movement animation, the better it's going to look, up to about 10 or so. At that point, it's going to look really smooth and just fantastic. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, how to do this once you've got your sprite sheet saved um, for the first part. Okay, so going back to Pixlr, this is pretty much what you should have. Um, and I'm going to go back and create a new project and take you through the process. So once our, uh, once our Scratch project opens, um, I'm going to go into the sprites. I'm going to costumes. I'm going to turn one up. I'm going to open up, and I'm going to open up my Mario sheet that I just made for the first part of the assignment. So right now, there's a couple different animations here. Looking at it, I noticed that the one animation is a jump animation. The other one's kind of like when he stops running. Those don't actually seem necessary for me. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to erase those two. So I'm going to grab the eraser, make it bigger, erase those two. And then I am going to duplicate it four times. Duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Uh, so once we, oh, that was four times. Uh, so once we've duplicated, what we need to now do is we're just going to erase all the X ones. So now it's just that one, just the second one, and just the third one, and then just the fourth one, which will, or just the third one, which will be my, my idle animation. So right now it'd be a smart, uh, you want to change them. So I'm going to do area walk in one, uh, control C. Control V, two, and up here. Control V, make it three. And I'll move over here, and it's going to be Mario standing. Okay. So once we've got those four um, sprites saved and named, uh, now we can get into the animation piece. Now I, I'll just bring in the code since I already uh, have it from my my previous projects, and we'll kind of go over what that looks like. So the code for that is, we are going to code individually the movement, right, which is a forever loop, and inside it, if right arrow key, you're going to change x by 5. You're going to point in the 90 degrees. It's going to be pointing right. Uh, if you point the arrow left, you're going to change x by negative 5, um, but you're gonna, your sprite is going to turn. Now, so I'm, I'm moving around, but things do not look right. So something's a little bit off here. So I'm going to show you what is off. What we need to do is center each sprite. So if we look at the sprite costumes, they're in different positions. Usually what's the best thing to do this is just to aim for the eye. So on all these, we're going to aim for the eye. And for Mario standing, aim for the eye. So that should make it a little easier. So now when I press play, so it looks like he's walking. looks great. Okay. So now the, the only strange thing that's happening is he's going upside down. Why is he doing that? Because it's on a 360 rotation. What we want to do is set him to um, just a left and right orientation. So how we do that is we go to stop and we go to info and right here is our rotation style. We just need to click left and right. And once we do that, we press play and now I can just get him running all around and should be good. So the extension for this, if you really want to blow this up and out of the park, is that you can make it 360, uh, you can make you can have specific costume animations for every direction. Um, for this uh, for this Undertale demo project here, I, I did that. And when I open that up, you'll, you're going to see what's what happened. So instead of I have to put on each arrow an individual costume instead of just having next costume when pressing all four of the buttons, uh, and that's how you would create a. Um, if we come up here, I can full screen this and press play, and that's where you can create animation going up and down and left and right. So I'm excited to see what you make. So you don't need to put a background if you don't want to. You're just going to have to animate it so it's going to be walking all around. Oh, and I'll also uh, show in the, the idle animation here. Um, the code for our idle animation is this, right? Forever, if not, any key is pressed, wait two seconds, 
and repeat until any key is pressed and switch it to your idle or standing animations. Okay, so this is the, all the code you need to animate once you have your sprite sheet um, finished. And yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. So what I want you to do when you're finished with that is you're going to um, publish your uh, Scratch project and you're gonna put it in our um, sprite sheet animations group folder. Okay, looks. I'm excited to see what you do. And yeah, let's get to it.